This is Mrs. Winstead and this is number three of a four part video series of the formulas for work power and simple machines. Today we're taking a look at mechanical advantage, which is the ratio of output force to input force. So the way we calculate that is force output divided by force input. This formula triangle is like the rest. It allows us to solve for force output by multiplying these, force input by dividing these, or mechanical advantage by the same formula we have over here. If your mechanical advantage is greater than one, then that means that your output force is always going to be greater than your input force. And this is what the majority of machines do. They give you more output force. You can lift something heavier, you can move something bigger. However, there are some machines that allow you to move something over a larger distance instead. So if your mechanical advantage is less than one, let's say it's 0.5 or 0.25, it means your input force is actually greater than your output force, which means that, yeah, you're not getting as much output force, but it does allow you to increase the distance over which that force has to be done. Mechanical advantage does not have units because it is a ratio. So this is the one time you don't have to write a unit after something. Don't get in the habit of it for everything else. Let's take a look at a couple of practice problems. In this case, a machine has an input force of 3,000 newtons and an output force of 9,000 newtons. What is the mechanical advantage? So if we annotate this, we have two numbers to look at here, 3,000 and 9,000 and a mechanical advantage. When I'm putting my boxes around here, I'm going to put my box around this entire thing right here, input force and output force. One of the hardest things about solving these kinds of problems is differentiating between input and output force. Sometimes it's spelled out for you really nicely like it is in this problem, but that's not always the case. So it's really important as you're reading to look for things that clue you into which one is the input and which one is the output. We're going to go ahead and solve for mechanical advantage. We know that our input is 3,000 newtons because it tells us that in the problem. We know that our output is 9,000 newtons because once again, the problem tells us this. Mechanical advantage is force output over force input, which means 9,000 divided by 3,000. Our answer is just going to be a nice simple three. There's no unit here. Let's take a look at a second example here. In this case, an input force of 2,000 newtons is applied on a machine with a mechanical advantage of 0.5. What will the output force be for the machine? So again, this one kind of spells things out for us. We've got 2,000 newtons. We've got 0.5. We know that we're finding the output force. And the important key words, things like output force, mechanical advantage, and input force. It's important to write these problems down and practice looking for these things and annotating them so that you can be better at solving these problems. So we know that our input force is 2,000 newtons because the problem told us. Same thing with mechanical advantage, it's 0.5. To find our output force, we actually multiply mechanical advantage times force input. That's given to us from the formula triangle. So we're going to be multiplying 2,000 times 0.5. Notice that I messed up the substitution. These actually should be switched. But when you're multiplying, it really doesn't make a huge difference what order the numbers go in. That makes much more of a difference when you're dividing. Half of 2,000 is 1,000, and forces are measured in newtons, so you do have to have a unit there. So that gives you a couple of examples of how to solve for mechanical advantage. Hope this helps.